Due to some faulty cauldrons causing a stir, we are still closed. Sorry. Gone on holiday. Back next year. Gone bird watching in Wales. We are closed due to daylight robbery. Back at seven o'clock. Harry, I found the perfect place to make the polyjuice potion. Mining Myrtle's bathroom in the upper castle. Come as soon as you have all the ingredients. Yours, Hermione. We apologize to our customers for the temporary closure. We are still tidying up after Gilderoy Lockhart's last visit. Wandered out for a spell. We'll return later. Nice earmuffs, Potter. Did your mum make them for you? Oh, I am sorry. I forgot. Malfoy, you're almost as funny as Filch. Now get out of my way. All right, Four Eyes. Oh, by the way, I've left a nice prize for you in this shop. Enjoy. Today is a Goblin Bank holiday, therefore we are closed. Oh, what a lovely young man you are! Don't milk it, boy! My reservoir of compliments has run dry! Now go away! Please help me. Somebody's released a gang of pixies in my shop and they're wrecking the place. I'll give you anything you need if you can stop them before they destroy my shop. repay you. Have you got any leeches? There you are. And thanks again for your help. Welcome to the Magical Menagerie. It doesn't look very Christmassy in here, does it? Is this better? How can I help you? Can I have some lacewing flies, please? I do indeed have some lacewing flies in stock, but they move too quickly for me to catch. They're hiding in one of these boxes. If you can catch five for me, I'll let you keep them. You need to collect all the flies within the time limit.
Well done, you've collected all the flies. I certainly won't be missing them. Now, buzz off. If you've got all your stuff, we'd best be getting back to Hogwarts. Well done getting all the ingredients I asked for. Did you manage to get any powdered horn of bicorn? Yes, but I had to sneak into Snape's office last night to get it. She wouldn't get me creeping about in Snape's office, especially at night. Here's the fluxweed and not grass. And here are the boomslang skin, lace wings and leeches. How long until the polyjuice potion's ready? I'm afraid we still need some extra ingredients. Something from Crab and Goyle. I've already managed to get some hair from Millicent Bulstrode. I hope you're not saying that you're going to turn us into Crab, Goyle and Millicent Bulstrode. Well, Crab and Goyle in particular are the only people Malfoy trusts. He'll tell them anything. You do want to find out whether Malfoy's the heir of Slytherin, don't you? Of course we do. I just hope that the Polyjuice potion will wear off. That's all. Of course it will. Ron, I think you should try and steal some hair from Crab and Goyle after lunch. They like to have a nap after feeding their faces. I've got a bad feeling about this. Come on, Ron. Let's leave Hermione to prepare the potion. This potion is going to be very difficult to get right. This is a girl's bathroom. You're not a girl. Get out! My life was nothing but misery at this place. And now people are coming along, ruining my death. Hogwarts is like a maze. I suggest you follow the carpet if you want to get back to the common room. I suppose I'd best get some hair from Crab and Goyle. Good luck. I'll meet you by the common room later.
Harry, Crab, Goyle and Malfoy are in the Great Hall. They've enrolled in the Dueling Club. I wonder who'll be teaching it. Let's hope it's not Lockhart. I've had enough of him for one day. Have you heard? Malfoy's in the Great Hall, and he's challenging everybody to a duel. Yeah, and no one's beaten him yet. Why don't you go in and duel with him, Harry? I hear you're pretty good. Go on, Harry. I'm sure you can beat him. It'll be great to wipe that smile off his slimy Slytherin face. If it isn't the great Harry Potter, fancy a duel? I'm something of an expert. Go on, Harry, you can do it. Better watch out for the candles, Potter. They've got special jinxes in them. Trust me, you're going to need all the help you can get. Get ready, duel. to Harry Potter! Get ready, duel! makes you the winner, you've got another thing coming. Try this, Potter. Serpent Sortier. Oh, 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 oh. Hissing furiously, the snake slithered towards Justin Finch Fletchley. Leave him alone, Harry shouted. 
At least, that was what he thought he'd shouted. When he looked up at Justin, he was met with an angry look. What do you think you're playing at? The snake was lying slumped on the floor, docile as a thick black garden hose. So why was Justin, and everybody else for that matter, regarding him with a look of horror? You're a parcel mouth, Harry. Why didn't you tell us? Harry didn't know what a parcel mouth was, so Ron told him. <laughs> you can talk to snakes, Harry! Hermione informed Harry that being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for, and how the whole school was now going to think that he, Harry Potter, was the heir of Slytherin and therefore responsible for the attacks. Dumbledore wasn't in his office when Harry got there. It was a very interesting room, however, and nearby Harry spotted the sorting hat. As he approached it, the hat spoke to him. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house, but I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. Harry's heart plummeted. He told the hat he thought it was wrong, and then a strange gagging noise behind him made him wheel around. Harry yelled in shock as the bird burst into flames, only to emerge from the fire more beautiful than it was before. Then the office door opened and Dumbledore came in. Fawkes the Phoenix is really very handsome, isn't he, Harry? Harry nodded, still shocked by the sight of the bird bursting into flames. Dumbledore explained how phoenixes were fascinating creatures. They can carry immensely heavy loads, and they make highly faithful pets. Dumbledore went on to say that he didn't believe Harry was the attacker plaguing Hogwarts, and he asked if Harry had anything that he wanted to tell him. Harry thought of the disembodied voice he'd heard, and his growing dread that he was connected to Salazar Slytherin. But in the end, he didn't want to say anything about them. Now that everyone knows you're a parcel mouth, they've convinced you're the heir of Slytherin. You don't think it's me, do you? Of course not! There's no way you're the heir, Harry. Thanks. We need to finish the Polyjuice Potion and prove that Malfoy's the heir of Slytherin. That way we can clear your name. Ron, did you manage to get some hair from Crab and Goyle? Yes, I did. But I'm telling you, it wasn't easy. OK, I'm sure I've done everything right. Once you've drunk the potion, there won't be much time before we turn back. Now what? We each have some of the potion, add the hairs and then drink it. I'm still not sure about this. Ready? Ready? As I'll ever be. One, two, three. Are you two all right? Yeah, unbelievable. Hermione, are you okay? Fine, I'm fine. Go on without me. Well, if you're sure, we'll meet you back here later. <laughs> 